volcanic mountains. Volcanic mountains are built when molten lava, ash, cinder and dust from deep inside the earth come out on the surface through cracks in the earth's crust and accumulate. A magma chamber is a reservoir of magma within the earth's crust beneath a volcano. The viscous magma traps hot gases within it, which are released suddenly during an eruption. The magma, originally oceanic crust, also contains large volumes of water, which in its gaseous state of steam increases the pressure within the vent. The release of gases and steam under high pressure increases the likelihood of a violent eruption. The opening through which lava and other materials come to the Earth's surface is called a vent. The funnel-shaped depression at the top of a vent is called a crater. The rock plug left below the crater from a previous eruption blows off violently, creating a hail of ash and rock. Violent eruptions result in the collapse of the top of the cone. Secondary or parasitic cones are formed on the sides of the volcanic mountain. The cone's steep sides are formed after the sticky acid lava pours slowly down the side of the cone and cools quickly. Each eruption first produces rock fragments, which are later covered by lava, forming alternate layers on the volcanic mountain sides. You can make your own volcano using some mud, a small plastic cylindrical container, red and yellow food coloring, liquid dishwashing soap, baking soda, and a glass of vinegar. Make a volcanic mountain out of mud. Make sure you have left the center hollow to fit your plastic container. Insert the plastic container in the hollow center of the volcano at the top. Add two spoons full of baking soda. Add about a spoonful of liquid dishwashing soap. To this mixture, add two drops of red and yellow food coloring each. Carefully, pour some vinegar into the container. Step back and watch the volcano come alive. Based on the frequency of activity, volcanoes are classified into three types. Active, dormant, and extinct. Active volcanoes are the volcanoes that have shown signs of activity in recent times. There are around 700 active volcanoes in the world, including some that are under the sea. Dormant volcanoes are the volcanoes which have not erupted for a long time. There is always a danger that a dormant volcano may suddenly erupt. Extinct volcanoes are volcanoes that scientists believe have finally died. Gradually, the volcano is eroded, and in some places, the only evidence of a volcano is the remains of the hard plug that filled the vent of the volcano. Erupting volcanoes pose many hazards. Ash cloud is fatal to all the life forms in the surrounding areas of the volcano. It is often blown high into the atmosphere during the eruption and then carried to a considerable distance by the wind. Pyroclastic flow or a hot avalanche, a glowing cloud of hot ash, rocks, steam and gases, moves at a speed of over 300 kilometers per hour. It causes havoc in the areas where it spreads. Lahar or a mud flow, melted snow or water from the crater lake mixed with volcanic ash, follows river valleys at great speeds, causing damage to life and property along its course. Lava is usually the last element to erupt and rarely flows far away from the volcano. It is of little danger to people living in the vicinity. The soil produced as a result of the weathering of volcanic rock is very fertile. 
people live ever closer to volcanoes because of higher yields from the fertile soil, putting themselves at high risk.